67-year-old Albert Miles That's it. says he's a simple man. That's it, simple. <laughs> simple life. However, his health is anything but. I have COPD. I also have had two knee surgeries. I have arthritis in my spine, and I have a couple tone syndrome, and I have a heart condition. So with all those ailments dragging him down, we followed him on his routine journey to the doctor. Hold on, hold on now. From his South Dallas home on Cleveland Street to Ross Avenue in Old East Dallas. A five mile trip that takes Albert about an hour. It's long. Yeah. Not just because of his health. I was pretty good until they start hurting. But because of the health of his neighborhood. So all it is, no sidewalks. No sidewalks. That, like his back and knees, is falling apart too. And what do you do when it's muddy or wet? You have to walk in the street. It's what others do too, crossing intersections. Good morning, twin. With faded or no crosswalks at all. Good morning. Good morning. Talk about it with nothing change. Uh, the weight only makes matters worse. It's just the area. It's going to, they say it's going to get better. We don't know. Do you believe it'll get better? I'm hoping it would. We've been talking about infrastructure equity. We took a look at the city's bond process. But SMU professor Barbara Los Minsker, Angeles. so our infrastructure is the worst, hopes it will get better. She and her students are identifying what they call infrastructure deserts. So let's come back to the study that we started with. Taking us back to South Dallas. That sidewalk is totally useless if it's not continuous. It doesn't get you somewhere. This time in Jubilee Park. So the infrastructure desert is the low income neighborhood with highly deficient infrastructure relative to the rest of the city. Her study collected data from 2018 to 2019 focused on 12 infrastructure types, including food access and public transportation. Bus is already here, ain't it? Yeah. I'm trying to get him that to it. Which Albert and many others struggle with far too often. All right. At that time, there were 62 infrastructure deserts around the city. Most of them are in southern and western Dallas. Raising funds for the two bridges across the Trinity, you could do sidewalks probably for the whole city for that amount. Minsker study to put a word on it, it says equity. Grabs the attention of Dallas Deputy Mayor Pro Tem Carolyn King Arnold. Most of, most of these communities have systemically been underserved because of previous practices. When you look at a community that does pay property taxes and our sales taxes, either way you go, money is being filtered from that particular community to the city of Dallas to our general fund. And so I believe it is only fair that they're able to get something out of the deal. All right, you have a good one. A deal that's not so simple. You don't got to worry about the crossbox? Nah, because they be our day, they, they in these areas. Where an hour and two buses later. Oh, my bad. Remains a pain. It's not clinic, girl. Yeah. Mm. For residents like Albert. Mm. In Dallas. Mm. I'm Brittany Moncrease.